Just got back from my doing my uh, weekly shop. Uh, as you know, this is the November Grocery Savings Challenge, and I've just gone down to weekly shopping. I'm not really enjoying it that much because I've been doing fortnightly shopping for so long. I'm just in such a good routine with what I buy, which lasts us um, for two weeks, and it allows me to stock up the pantry uh, with a few other things so we never run out of food. But uh, managing on $60 a week is hard, but it's ma um, absolutely doable. Um, so this is uh, what I got this week. I got salad ingredients, uh, my usual baby cos lettuce, a cucumber, capsicum, tomato. I've got lots of frozen vegetables still left. Carrots, onions and potatoes still from last week. I bought some chicken breast, kilo of cheese, uh, some sausages, Greek yogurt, six one litre long life milk. Um, the supermarket didn't have the butter that I normally buy, so I got that one that was on special. Tin of tuna, coffee, dishwashing liquid, tomato paste, which I didn't have on my list. And by the way, I um, actually left my list at home, so I was in trouble um, trying to remember everything that I needed. But I did manage to get everything I needed, but I got extras. So we'll just see what the total comes to. Got some spaghetti pasta, some cling wrap. Two loaves of bread. I picked up these um, blueberry mini muffins, which will be good for school lunches, marked down. And then I bought two packets of these, um, I think there's six, five, five pieces in a pack. And they were only 64 cents, so I got two of those. And they're just um, priceless to have in the fridge. And some frozen blueberries. So, $60 budget. Today it came to... $73.50 which is $13.50 over uh, which I'm not pleased about I probably could have used the calculator as I went ar around but my list uh, was completely itemized with exactly how much everything was going to cost which was under the $60 but not taking into account these weren't on the list these weren't on the list that that and that wasn't on the list um, so I probably would have come in under the $60, but I'm glad I have those things and maybe next week I could uh, try and recoup that $13.50 overspend, but we'll see how we go. Um, and that's it for this week. Thank you.